My name is Shane Chen. Um, I, uh, I started inventing uh, since about 20, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago. Um, originally, it was more uh, like uh, sporting goods you know, um, and kitchen gadgets. You know, uh, I like to cook, so I, I invent lots of kitchen gadgets. And also, I like sports. I have a lot of sporting uh, uh, you know, um, products, inventions. But um, recently, now actually it's about 10 years ago now. <laughs> so 10 years ago, I just ac accidentally got into uh, personal transportation. Um, I, I had ideas for one wheel called a solo wheel. So I invented that one. Then um, a couple of years later, I invented the hoverboard. That's the most famous product in the world. It's called a, people call it a hoverboard. Um, then I have many other inventions. Then you see, well, when I, when I was very little, I always, uh, I'm a, I was a tinkerer, you know, I always make, make things. Uh, when I was a little kid, I started making radio and even making TV uh, myself and, and, and uh, just make, making model airplanes, uh, model tanks. I like to do things like that. Then, um, then, then, but I, I went to college, uh, got a degree for uh, agricultural meteorology. Well, after the college, I, uh, I, I started my own business. Uh, it, it's making um, scientific instruments for plant scientists, for environment, environmental researchers. So, um, and since I have a background of agricultural uh, meteorology, also I, I like the electronics. So I was designing different kinds of instruments to help uh, plant scientists to do research. I was doing the uh, uh, scientific instruments. Uh, I, actually, I did that for 20 years. I just, we, I design it. Uh, I uh, come on a new idea and design it and make it and sell it to the scientists. Uh, so they, they would do research on the uh, agricultural, you know, uh, in a, uh, it, well, mainly for plant science, especially how to grow things uh, faster and more efficient. So uh, that's uh, a very small field because it's a very, very few. There are only like three or four companies in the world doing that. So it's a niche uh, market. So then uh, I was a little bored by doing that. So then um, I start thinking about ideas for um, consumers. So when I was working on the consumer uh, product, um, I, I did things like, um, like aqua skipper. Uh, it, it's a little, I mean, and it's a human powered hydrofoil uh, watercraft. So uh, it's called aqua skipper. It's on, on my website. So you, you hop, you jump, then this, this device will fly on top of water. So you can go very fast with the human power. Then also, also I, I made something uh, like, uh, it's called a orbit wheel. It's two circles, two circles. You put a, your feet into the two circles. Then you can propel yourself sideways. You look like a skateboard, but it's, it's uh, no board. It, it's only two circles. It's called an orbit wheel. That, that one has become uh, kind of popular just recently. And, and there are many things like that, and, and some kitchen gadgets. Uh, when I was doing different kinds of inventions, when I do, were doing different kinds of inventions, I usually do my, maybe a few projects at a time, maybe even sometimes even four or five projects at the same time, doing all, all kinds of testing and, and thinking, designing. But one day I just uh, uh, saw, well, I know uh, you know, people, like the uh, uh, Segway, you know, the, the personal transportation. Uh, I know that. Then I also saw someone doing uh, one wheel, like uh, 
uh, unicycle uh, with the motor. So I just came on the idea, uh, maybe I can make one, just one wheel, you can stand on that. One person stand on one wheel, okay. you lean to go fast, lean back to slow down. It, it, you have all the freedom. And then on, after that, um, actually, after I invent the solo wheel, yeah. it's not very popular. Some people like it, but it's harder to learn. People couldn't learn it, so only a few people like it. Then uh, right after that, I come on a, 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 another transportation. It's two wheels, one on each side. The person stands in the middle and two wheels on the side. So it's much easier to learn than solo wheel. It's called a hoverboard. You know, we call that hover tracks. Well, um, I guess just always um, work hard and don't give up. <laughs> because uh, often people uh, tend to give up when they, you know, they, they, everybody want to do something, but they, uh, most time people give up. And uh, I just learned that, that you just don't give up, just keep working, um, keep pursuing what you want to get. Eventually you'll get it. <laughs> There's another thing uh, I learned about human being, um, I forgot. Um, well, I was just concentrating on inventing, you know, making things. Um, and I was enjoying my work, but uh, because I I, uh, I invent for a living because I, I that's how I make, I make money. I invent something that I can, we can sell or license someone and uh, we get paid. Then then I use money to invent more things. But one thing I just found out uh, for the last few years. After I came on this idea, that's very good, very popular. Everybody love it. Then the problem show up because the copies, a lot of people copy illegally that uh, they just took the idea without paying. Uh, that actually upset me a lot. So that's kind of, a, I had to deal with a human being for that. <laughs> now, uh, you know, um, I have, I have invented quite a few popular things. So uh, lots of knockoffs or factories, they're actually watching me now. Every time I have something new, they will copy right away. They will sell much cheaper. So it's making me harder to, to, I mean, I still continue to invent new things, but harder to make money now. Every time I invent something, I usually lose right away, lose to the knockoffs because they sell much cheaper. And uh, I'll lose uh, the chance of making money from my own invention. So that made uh, in the life and the work is more difficult. Well, I always feel uh, excitement when I have a new idea. So uh, I always, I'm you know, always looking for the excitement. So I have to come up with a new idea to make myself exciting. Um, so it's, it's become like a habit. So I, I can't really stop. Even, even I can't make much money from my invention, but still keep thinking new ideas because I, it, it's kind of like people have a hobby or have a, uh, something they can, that can entertain themselves. So invention is uh, my, uh, uh, you know, entertainment. I guess um, my my father my my father uh, uh, always supported me when I was young when I was very little, and and he always encouraged me to, you know, do what I like to do. Um, um, I grew I grew up in China. Uh, uh, back then, uh, China is a very poor country, so uh, nobody make much money, and. If you want to do something like hobby, you want to you know uh, make something, um, you know it, it's limited resources, and then my my father always, you know, uh, helped me to get what I need to make to to get my projects uh, working. Yeah, I'm gonna say, uh, but now when I'm you know I've been working on many inventions, uh, and uh, I need thank to my wife. And my daughter, because they always support me in in, in 
um, you know, because I was always busy working on things. Um, they will take care of lots of things for me. Um, you know, we, we have a small business because it's kind of inventing, you had invent an idea, then you had to, you know, uh, do lots of tests uh, on the project and had to make it. Basically, it's, it's a business. So um, my wife and my daughter always help me um, to get everything, you know, done. Yeah, in, right. The reason that's why I uh, left China, because um, uh, I always want to do things, you know, um, be creative. Um, Back then in China, it was difficult because it's uh, uh, under a communist system. Uh, everything it's it's uh, difficult uh, back then. But now I think it looks easier now because it lots of people doing everything. Um, you know now, uh, just 20, 30 years ago was very difficult. So um, uh, I was, uh, but I I couldn't stop. Well, what I would, you know, what I would try to do. So the only way out is to go to a different country. That's how I decided um, I want to go to the United States. I, I, I would have more freedom than, than I did. Yes, yes. Um, um, I, uh, a few years ago, uh, and I was invited by a uh, 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 U.S. Patent Office to give a speech. Then uh, I, uh, in that speech, I uh, when I was writing that speech, I I re realized something. So I I, um, I had that speech that, that made everybody like that speech it, because I found out um, it's you you know uh, okay. Uh, let me go back a little bit. Often um, when I was in China, when I will go uh, when I went back to China or uh, met someone from China. They, they often tell, uh, tells me um, that because I, I was Chinese and, and why didn't I you know, help China? Why, why um, you know, I invent lots of things uh, after I came to the United States? Then um, I actually couldn't answer that question earlier, but later on, when I was writing that speech, actually, I realized something very important. It's because the, uh, the environment in the United States, probably in many countries like France had similar things, because you're in a society that support the uh, creativity, you know, support the freedom that made you mind open, wide open, that made a big difference. So basically, I, could, I can say, uh, if I was still in China, I probably wouldn't invent many things. I, I, yeah, I'm working, I've been working on uh, quite a few new things. Um, probably we shouldn't, you know, put this in the public. <laughs> new things, because now I know people love the uh, um, my uh, you mentioned about the personal transportation, so I'm working more on that direction, and and also some other things like um, the uh, uh, sailing, you know, like, like you know, um, because I'm a windsurfer, windsurf, so I also working on things about windsurfing. Yeah, I, th I think um, in order to encourage more people to be uh, creative, to do more, you know, uh, good things for the world, um, this, um, I guess the system needs to be um, better to protect the inventions. You know, we do have a patent system. Uh, you know, uh, U.S. has a patent and Europe has patent. Uh, even China has, has, has patent. I did file a patent everywhere. But the, uh, there's something new uh, uh, nowadays, different from uh, before. See, before, if you have a patent, people usually just don't, you know, 
do anything because you know, I've had it. Um, also, it's difficult for people to sell something that you have patent because you had to sell through the many channels and, and, and you had to go to stores and store may not want to sell. But now in the modern time, there's something different. I made it difficult. It's the internet selling. Um, the, um, how do you call that? It's, it's um, you know, those online selling. Uh, America has a good law uh, and Europe has a good law to protect the, any inventions, right? But with the, with the modern e-commerce, uh, the factories in China, they copy. Because they have a different system. They don't, they don't worry about copying. They can copy in China. But then they sell through Amazon, uh, sell through any web, web seller directly to the consumer in US and Europe, bypass everything. So that made them much easier, made um, the inventor harder to stop them because, you know, it, it, there's, there's, uh, it's too complicated to, too complicated to stop e-commerce, uh, you know, business. Yeah, we have to deal with that because um, earlier, I mean, 20 years ago, there was no problem, but now there's a new advanced, uh, you know, e-commerce system yeah. that made the uh, illegal copier easier. And yeah. harder and greater to, to, you know, to protect their inventions. Yeah, I wonder many times. Um, and also, uh, uh, I think uh, French people love one of my inventions most is the solo wheel. I think there, there we sold many uh, more, much more solo wheels, many more solo wheels in France. And um, uh, French people like to uh, ride the one wheel in the streets in Paris everywhere. Um, it, it's, they, they feel passionate riding that solo wheel. Uh, yes, yes, I always want to make something different. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I always want to make something different. Okay. I don't like old things. I like, always like new things. And uh, I always want to improve something. Um, we, well, yeah, well, I've, I've still um, want to come out with something much bigger. <laughs> still, still working on something bigger. Um, but I don't know it will, you know, it will come true. Um, so often the, uh, the inventions is kind of unexpected. Um, I never expect the hoverboards to be so popular, but that was so popular more than anything else. So, um, so I understand that. So, but, uh, but I always have something, um, you know, want to change, um, the way uh, we do things. Um, yeah, I just can't uh, describe the details because because uh, often you know the um, um, the copiers will, they will get idea yeah. very quickly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.